Yo, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? So I'm here in today's video. I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to get wins in Fortnite every single time. So if you guys wanna know that, watch till the end of the video, guys. And also the gameplay in the background, I get 10 kills, and it was basically duo v squad because one well, of my teammates did nothing. Other teammate died at the start, you know. Another teammate that did nothing died. And, um, uh, so yeah. But anyways, let's get right into the video. Just subscribe, turn up, post notifications, like, and comment. So yeah. So the first tip that I'm going to be saying is make sure you, like, these are tips for when using a shotgun, obviously. Shotguns are very important in the game. So, like, when you're using, I'm only going to cover the shotgun I used in this gameplay, which is the double barrel, and also other than that, I had a blue SMG. So, when you're using a double barrel, make sure you, since it only has two rounds, always have an SMG or a, um, AR that can spray, such as the suppressed AR, that would probably be the best one to use with your double barrel. Or if you have good aim, use the burst, because I know those do quite a bit of damage now, since the new buff. And, um, uh, yeah, so that's the first tip. Uh, because shotguns are very important in Fortnite, especially if you're drawing for those wins. <coughs> now the next thing is, is either using custom build binds or using Builder Pro. Now, Builder Pro is probably, the, it's, it is the one that I use the most, and in my opinion, uh, I can't get used to all the key binds and all that custom key binds. And, um, so I would say that Builder Pro is the best one. If you guys can't get used to custom B keybinds, or if you're really good at Builder, like Combat Pro, I'd still switch. Because there's a new option to make it. So that way, whatever button you press, you instantly build whatever, um, that button is laid to while only using Builder Pro. It's only for Builder Pro. Now, next thing, make sure to have your sensitivity at the one that you like the best. Now, the sensitivity I use is one that a lot of other pro players use, which is the, um, I think it's 8 and 6, so it's 8 for X sensitivity, which is like shaking your head like no and then it's six for Y sensitivity, which is like shaking your head up and down for yes. And it seems to work out very, you know, great. And the next tip is to make sure that you always, and I mean you always loot the enemies you kill. Now, if you have another bunch of people rushing you, this is a little tip if you want to get the loot still. Um, what you want to do, basically, is you build a box around whoever you knock, right? And then you either finish them in there and pick up their loot, or you leave them in there while you go and fight the other people. Kill them, and then go pick up that dude that you killed's loot. And then you will... You know, have the loot from two fights, and you won't forget any loot. And now the next tip, and probably the most important one, is using an umbrella instead of a huge glider. Either use a small glider or an umbrella. I recommend umbrellas because umbrellas make the least amount of noise, and they are the smallest, so they are the hardest to spot when you are gliding in with a launch pad. So... Why wouldn't you use an umbrella? Umbrellas are just probably the greatest one to use. And it's, uh, it's just great. Now, the next tip is to always use skins that don't have too much light on them. Now, if you use a skin that is, like, really bright, very vibrant, you'll probably get spotted ten times more than if you're using a skin such as, like, the Skull Ranger or even the Rogue Agent and all that.
next tip is do if you see a noob skin or a skin that is something you'd see a noob using do not think it's a noob still play at your best because what you might not know is that you know a lot of people a lot of pro players uh such as myself i use the um uh, i use the uh, noob skin quite a bit just uh, because you know people might think i'm not that good of a player you know then they go easy on me <laughs> And so yeah, make sure you still play your best at the noob when a noob skin comes at you. Now my next tip and a very important tip is to have a good building sensitivity. So the building sensitivity is something put in to the last update, I'm pretty sure. That or the update before the last update. And basically building sensitivity, what it does is it makes it so that way you can have your normal sensitivity it could be low or whatever when you're like shooting and aiming down sights and all that but then you can have your building sensitivity which is as soon as you open up your as soon as you press circle or whatever your your button is to open up your building menu instantly it switches to that sensitivity now i have mine at 1.50 because i can't play on 2.00 that is just too high of a sensitivity for me. I don't know about you guys, but um, uh, it's too high of a sensitivity for me. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. And if these tips were helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and comment what tips you would like for my next video. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next Fortnite or Call of Duty video. And this is Slimy signing out. Peace.